Last Saturday was senior day inside the McLeod Center and Ted Friedman was honored for all that he's accomplished as a student athlete at the University of Northern Iowa. Panther fans know what Ted brings to the basketball program, but you probably aren't aware of the many talents inside the classroom. Panther Sports Talk's Brad Wells has the story on this special student athlete. Ted Friedman is wrapping up his time with the Panther basketball team this season after five years on the team. Friedman has been named by teammates as a role model and leader on the team. And it's not just because of the time he spent in the gym. I have three majors. I uh, started in econ first couple years and I picked up a psych major uh, and then finally a finance major. And then uh, now this year I picked up a certificate in industrial organizational psychology. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're kind of tough to put together, I guess. There's a lot of workload, but it gives me a variety of aspects of having each major to be able to take with me into the business world. Friedman's scholarship hasn't gone unnoticed. In 2016 and 17, Friedman was named to the Missouri Valley Conference's Scholar Athlete Team, an honor held by only 12 other Panthers. He is by far the, the smartest on the team, um, and he definitely has the most workload uh, in the academic side of things, for sure. Off the court, he's done something that I don't think I've ever heard of another college athlete doing. Triple major, he's got a couple certificates to go with those, which is very impressive. Um, I don't think he really gets as much credit as he deserves. By balancing basketball, studies, and his personal life, he's honed a skill set that he believes will prepare him for his career. Time management, that's uh, the number one. You always have to be, you have to plan ahead. You, know, you got to know, I have only this much time to do this project, so I need to start now because I won't have time for practice. And uh, just basically, uh, like, just being able to get ahead of everything, like talking to professors makes you, you have to talk to them because you know when you're missing class and just talking to people to get makeup work. So it really prepares you to talk to a bunch of different people and kind of just making sure you're always prepared for the next thing. Friedman's work ethic hasn't been reserved to just the classroom. Players and coaches have relied on his leadership during practice and his execution during games. Ted's work ethic is second to none because not only is he put the time in to have a 397 in the classroom, but the amount of time he's put in to his game on the shooting machine, uh, consistently in there every day, getting two workouts in a day, getting to the free throw line, I mean doing all the things that he knows he has to do to help this team. And when you say, hey Ted, get in the game, you can count on what he's going to give you. He's going to give you effort. Okay, he's going to be in the right spots, he's going to communicate, he's going to lead. Uh, that says a lot and as a coach that makes you feel a little better about the guys you have in your rotation when you have guys like Teddy. As he looks back on his career with the Panthers, the thing Friedman values the most isn't so much his basketball performance as it is the friendships he's established with his UNI teammates. I, I mean I hope they say that uh, first of all I was a great teammate and a guy they like to be around and uh, just hopefully, uh, the, the younger guys hopefully say that I was a great leader and just a, a great friend. I really feel, I feel at home here and I think that's like the biggest part is I have a place to call home and uh, it's just been so much fun these past five years and I don't know, I love it.